We're taking you to five things you need to know for today. A man from Flint is accused of killing two teen boys on the city's northwest side. 19-year-old Ryan Davis, who you see on your screen, accused of shooting 13-year-old Dontavis Moore and 15-year-old Dominic Ward on June 26th. He's charged with first-degree murder and other fel felonies. His next hearing is October 3rd. A judge ordering a preliminary exam for former teacher Keith Corbett, who's charged with child sex crimes. The hearing will determine whether there's enough evidence to bring the case to trial. So he taught music at Chatfield School in Lapeer and is accused of sending sexually explicit images to a minor along with other crimes. He's still in jail on a $500,000 bond and that exam is in November 15th. We could soon see more businesses making their way to Grand Blank. The city is working with a special retail firm to expand development downtown and throughout the city. City manager says that the Grand Blank marketplace has plans for an O'Reilly Auto Parts to take place of the former Kmart. But there's still one more tenant space available and the city's new garden building is about 85 percent finished and will open at the end of the year. A temporary location for Bronco preschool students after the fire last week. Students will have class now at Valley Preschool in Carleton Township. It's expected to start September 30th. Saginaw Intermediate School District is providing meals, curriculum, and mental health support to anyone affected. There's diapers and formula available to early Head Start families. So parents, guardians may expect a call from your child's teacher today. Bay County Animal Services breaking ground on a new adoption center Thursday at the dog park on Livingston. You'll be able to hear from local leaders and project partners. Bay County Animal Services will also have reduced adoption fees all week to celebrate that new center.